based off of a base camp, but with rift axles, mostly rift links, rift shocks, but a base camp transmission and castle power. Going to show this thing to you on the table. Also the new Warlord body by J Concepts, and we're taking it for a drive. Let's go. Okay, let's look at this thing. This is the Warlord. Yep, by J Concepts. And to me, it just seems to fit perfectly for this thing right here, man. But this is the race camp. Look at all that. Man, I had to do a lot of work to try to make this chassis survive. I bent it, had to rebend it, cut it off. Vitavon shock towers, had to cut those. Here we have a high tech, uh, what's that, 961 WP servo. Yep, with a Reefs Servo Saver, Rift Axles, still have the diffs in there. Hopefully they survive. I certainly got some loose rod ends up here because the top ones are, uh, you can see they're not even on the balls right now. So it kind of got to be on the ball to type. Oh, that's a lot better. Uh, much better when you're on the ball. So, but anyway, uh, Rift Shocks, everything. Uh, I got the 525 Hyrax, uh, Proline Beadlock Wheels, Plastic. And oh, Castle Mamba XESC. Uh, I got to put a GT5 receiver in it. I got four of those. Um, yeah, uh, 30 2850 kV motor. So, and it will be running on 4S. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm still on wheels. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I actually survived that or not, or if it stayed on wheels. Let's see if I can do that, but better next time. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. I brought that clay back from Georgia. I'm not so sure it was a good idea for the track. I'm not. I'm not sure with all of our rain and stuff if that clay was a good idea. Nice! <laughs> Man, this is one fun truck. I say that every time I drive it. Now it's got a bright orange body. Yep. Oh, nice save. I thought that was gonna be a, a fresh dent in the brand new body. Oh, another save. Now I'm, now I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm trying to get a backflip. Doesn't seem to want to work for me. Well, that gave me something, didn't it? Nice. Look at that impact zone. I think the front diff. Uh-oh. That's not good. hung up pretty bad right there I got to look at this this is oh my goodness gracious that's a bit more than usual what the heck was uh all my rod ends are wore out I'm not even sure if those are uppers in the back or Lowers for the front or what? Oh, I did it again. All right, let's see here. All right, so. Oh, it's hanging up right there. It's getting. Oh! Good Lord, hang on. Okay, I see it. The rib on the axle is actually hanging up on the chassis. Right there, on my, that right there is what's catching me. 
Now that's never happened before. I mean, I've jumped this thing like, like a real idiot before. But now all of a sudden it's doing it. And it's doing it a lot. Oh well, I guess I'm not gonna get to jump it anymore. Ah, even a little baby jump does it. This is horrible. I think I'm just gonna order some new rod ends for it. I mean, that's gotta be all it is. We're going to hit this one time, just, just to see. <laughs> wow. Oddly enough, it didn't stick that time. Ooh. I should get this one time in slow-mo. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, I don't know if, if I'm just seeing things or not. Is that front axle bent or is it just a tie rod? It might be just a tie rod. I mean, granted, this thing has taken so much abuse. God gracious, everything is so loose on it. But, still drives. One more time. God! Okay, I got way too much moving now. Oh yeah, ah, oh, there we go. All right, it's broke. Man, <laughs> what a ride, what a ride, man. That still runs, even with the broken leak. Okay, I better stop. No kidding, this thing has taken so much abuse. I mean, I'm just gonna order a set of uh, rift rod ends. I mean, every single one is wore out, so. This has been an awesome vehicle. I do think that front end is bent, though. I don't know. I know the tires definitely aren't straight up and down. I mean, well, actually, got lots of toe out now. Yeah, I'll have to put a set of rod ends on it. Well, you know, I've beat on this thing over and over again. It was way past due for some maintenance. So, get some rod ends ordered, and I think it's all set. Body looks good. Everything done fine. Everything is moving around so much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little bit more clearance on that back end. So, I mean, I did send it pretty good. Yeah, pretty sure that front axle housing is bent. Don't know. But eventually, it'll go and be done. At that point, I know it'll be bent. <laughs> guys, check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And you guys need to go out and have a wonderful day. Make somebody else's day wonderful. Later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.